Hey friends, it's Jennifer Hernan at jenniferhernan.com. Today I'm going to show you how to get your Twitter and Facebook accounts connected to CRED. Now if you've never heard of CRED before, it is a competitor of clout. It measures your social media influence. They have just rolled out CRED Story, which is a visual representation of your social media influence. Probably a great idea in light of how visual social media has gone with the popularity of Pinterest and how well we see photographs doing on and graphics doing on Facebook. So they're keeping up with the times here. I have written an article about why your social media influence scores are important. I'll attach the link to that article below this video so you can check it out if there's any question about that in your mind. And Clout, as you may know, with the updating of their scores has gone really crazy and at this moment at least, is just not a reliable measure of social media influence. So I want to encourage you to make sure you also um, have your Twitter and Facebook accounts maximized to have the highest cred story since cred may be getting uh, more credibility with some of the crazy stuff Clout is doing. If you want to go over to cred.com and if you've never visited cred before you can click on request cred story. You'll enter your email and your Twitter name and they will get you hooked up with your CRED story. Now, if you've been on CRED before, just go ahead and click sign in with Twitter, and once you do that, then it'll take you over to what we're looking at here, which is my CRED story. Now, there are three numbers that are really um, important that I wanna talk about here with CRED. CRED. Your CRED story is made up of two different numbers. The first number is the influence, the number of people, the amount of influence you have on people and that number is out of 1,000. The second number is your outreach level, which is right now out of a possible high of 12, and that measures how well you reach out to and help spread other people's messages. Now your scores, both of these numbers here, come from this number over here, which is your total influence points. One thing CRED really prides itself on is being completely transparent which means they're gonna tell you exactly where your numbers come from. I know why I have 83,384 influence points and those then translate into the score by a numerical form formula that is not up in the air or left to be guessed at at all. Um, with Clout right now, they tell you all the different things that are going into making up that score, but how those things weigh out um, to finalize your score is anybody's guess at this point. So even though with Clout you'll see you know, LinkedIn and Google Plus and YouTube and some of those things factored in, and here you've only got Twitter and your Facebook personal profile, not a Facebook page unfortunately, um, but even though you only have those two things, it, um, the transparency with which they come up with the number is a better measure of influence right now for the majority of the people you're going to deal with than clout is. So let's look at how we get these numbers, how we come up with the influence score and the outreach level and how I have this many points. To do that, come up here to the top where it says about cred and go down to the cred rules. And in the cred rules, you can see how the influence and outreach scores are made up. If you click over here on influence, you will see that they give you a certain number of points for every interaction you have. And here's a chart that tells you exactly how many points you're going to get when someone retweets, at replies, or at mentions you. And the number of points is based on how many followers that person has. You also get a point for every new follower you get. They also have a chart for you on Facebook that shows you how many points you're going to get when somebody posts on your wall, shares a link, mentions you, invites you to an event, likes some of your activity, and whenever you get a new friend, you also get a point. So it's no mystery at all how many points you're gonna get for everything that happens. One important thing to note about Facebook is they can only, um, and this doesn't apply so much to your influence score as it does to your outreach score, but CRED can only calculate a score based on what's hooked up. So we need to make sure that you and all of the people that you're um, connected with or influencing to the amount that you can, have them make sure that their Facebook profile is also connected to CRED and not just their Twitter account. Okay, now, 
another interesting thing about CRED that you can see here, your CRED score along the bottom of this graph here, and this is the number of points that you need to get that score. And this graph changes as activity on CRED changes, but you can see that as your CRED score gets higher, it's going to take more and more points for you to, to move up. So once you get to be on the higher end of this, you're going to need more points before you actually move all the way up um, to the end of the curve. So that's your influence score. Now for your outreach score, the same kind of thing applies. And this is where um, if you retreat some, uh, excuse me, retweet someone at reply or mention them or follow them, you get a certain number of points for that, for taking that action and showing them that love. Same thing on Facebook. If you post on their wall, you mention someone, you tag someone, you comment on their post, or you friend them, you get another point. And again, this is where it's important to make sure that the Facebook account is also connected to CRED. So if you haven't done that, make sure and go do that, and I'll show you how in just a minute. Um, the same thing uh, applies with your outreach score as your influence score. They've got, at this current time, how many points you need to reach a certain level of influence. And that changes as more activity happens and uh, more and more points come. The score is going to, like now it's 12, and it will go up even further than that as people continue to, uh, their outreach continues to grow. Okay, so you know there exactly how your score is being um, tabulated. And we can see from those numbers, what I have here are my 83,384 points. If you click on this little arrow up here, it will show you exactly where I get those points from. And did I do it? It might take it a little minute to do it. What I have been experiencing with CRED is that it's running a little bit slow. Maybe a lot of people are jumping over there from clout. But as you can see, after I click on the arrow, then it shows what points I get for what. I get points for giving CRED or clout. I get a certain number of points. And then here it shows my Twitter transactions every time I do something on Twitter and how many points it's given me. And it also will show my Facebook transactions too. So you can see how many points are added, what your score is, and then by mathematical formula, what it is being translated into. And I like that completely transparent part of it. Now, let me show you uh, real quick here also to make sure you are, both of your profiles are hooked up. You want to go to this wheel here where it says Manage Identities. And you'll click on Manage Identities and it will show that hopefully in a minute that both my Twitter and Facebook accounts are connected to CRED. And if they were not both connected, it would give you a little button where you could um, connect them, where you could get that done. So it's a really easy process. You just want to double check that both of your accounts are connected so you can get as many points as you possibly can and that then in turn will drive your CRED score up. Okay, I'll leave you for just a minute here and let it do its thing and come back when it's showing the right thing here. Okay, so we can see where it pops up after you click on Manage Identities. Um, my account pops up and you can see Twitter and Facebook are both connected. So I'm in good shape. Make sure it looks like that for you too. So the only other thing that I want to share with you um, you know, there's obviously a lot you can look at and a lot you can do here. See what communities you're influential in. See what kind of your content is being retweeted. And it's all done in this sort of board form, uh, visual form, which uh, makes it easy and appealing to look at. But the last thing I wanted to share with you is up here, you can enter the user Twitter username of any other person and you can see where they rank. And you, can, you may want to enter the name of an influencer that you like to follow and see what content of theirs is being shared a lot and is popular and why they're doing well and take some lessons from them. Or just if you want to see somebody that you're considering working with, what um, their cred story looks out like, what they're, so, they're doing on social media. It's a great place for it all to be gathered. The other thing you can do here is you can enter a hashtag, any hashtag that might be used on Twitter that you'll, you're interested in. Let's, for example, put in blogging. And you can see then it will bring up the, um, I think this is interesting, the top cred influencers and outreachers using the hashtag blogging for the current month. 
and also the top um, postings, tweets then that have the biggest number of retweets and the most popular content that's been up with the blogging hashtag. So this is another way to really keep up to date with what's going on in your communities or the markets that you're interested in. So I hope this video tutorial has been helpful to you and can, uh, if you're not on CRED or not paying any attention to CRED, you can get hooked up here. At least be connected so you know what your numbers are uh, because you never know when they're going to be important to somebody. And I encourage you also to start looking at and using CRED when you're looking for influencers in your community. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.